Well, hey, this is Alex. I'm back with this large format interchangeable core, Corbin. It's a Corbin, get it? Haha. Uh -huh. Already taken the circ clip off. Um, you can disassemble it. I haven't seen how one of these works inside yet, and. Uh, Here's the core. We'll take this out, and then I'm assuming that this piece will drop out. Indeed, it does. Now this is interesting. So this is the um, this is the actuator for the master for the uh, interchangeable core bit. Hopefully that's in focus. So that's pins two through four. And it is not symmetrical. So there it is with the, there it is with the pin stack facing up and there it is when the like released position. And I guess these little fingers act as a stop so it can only turn so far. And then here is the rest of the shell. And you can see the grooves that those little teeth fall into. And these two rings which hold the rest of the plug in there. So the control line is really only the middle four pins. The front and back, I guess, have no effect on that. So, um, so we also now know that the shear line for the control is this thickness. Okay, now if this reminds you of Corbin master ring, it should, because that's exactly how they work as well. It's like a master ring cylinder, but with only like a partial master ring. So we have our we have our core, our shell. We've got the master ring. Um, or the uh, control shell that goes in there, and then the core, or the plug rather.
So there we go. Corbin um, SFIC or LFIC uh, cylinder disassembled. Now we know how it works. So anyway, I'll get a couple close-ups and put them in and that's it. Anyway. And that's the bidding code for this particular control key. So, very exciting bidding. Anyway, there's the keys. No operating key on this one. Anyway, this is Alex. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Um, and as always, have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.